So my name is Christian Ibarra and I'm presenting uh, for Golf Buddy, the app. Um, golf is a global market worth trillions of dollars. The market has grown beyond the stereotypical country club golfer. Today's golfer is no longer confined to specific gender, occupational, and economic groups and have uh, many public courses to choose from. However, the process of play is not evolved evolved to meet the demands of today's modern golfer. Today's golf players want an easy, convenient, and social experiment when playing golf rather than fragmented in-person process of play. There is no existing online platform to browse, meet, and play with golfers conveniently. There is also no centralized social media hub to maintain communities for new and existing golfers. Um, and for the problem with courses is that there's no inconvenient or there's a huge inconvenience of single walk-on golfers. In fact, the pandemic has caused a surge in the global golf market. There's been a 20% increase of rounds played in August, 2020 than in 2019, which is roughly over 10 million more rounds in one month than the previous year. A 71% increase of one person per cart golfers, which are also considered singles, um, Tee times are up 31%, cart fees are up 38%. Group and tournaments are also down uh, 68%, which suggests that the increase in play is due to individual golfers rather than groups. And in fact, we are seeing a 9% increase in online bookings, which is an overall decline in phone and walk-up tee time bookings. The golf world is changing due to the pandemic and the golf industry is naturally evolving to become more digitally, digitally integrated, more socially, and more leisurely integrated. So my problem is to, or my solution is to create a social media golf platform to connect new golfers and maintain online golf communities. My next steps towards development your defined. time is up. Thanks hey, again thanks, for Christian. That so much, Christian. Thank you. Hey, uh, Christian, this is Gordon. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, I can hear you. So uh, I get the idea of the social component to try and find somebody that's kind of like me or that I might want to play golf with. That's the social aspect. Um, I'm trying to figure out what a total solution might be. The experience, once, once you and I and two others find out that, hey, we have something uh, uh, of interest in common. Now we need to figure out when can we play? Like when do our calendars al align? Where can we play? Oh, you live in South Austin. I yep. live way up in Round Rock. And then we need to make the reservations. So like I get the social part. Yes. But d is this a full solution? And if not, well, is it okay that this is just the social piece of it? Yes, this is a full solution. So it's an app and it'll have a booking feature and you can browse the bulletin to see who else wants to play. Once you pair up with somebody, um, the, the app will choose, it'll suggest multiple courses to play, and then we convert that to the golf course and the golf, we would sell your tee time to the golf course and, and in, in return, making a profit. Okay. I'll see what other, uh, what questions the other judges have. And then if we have time, I, I can, I, I have another question maybe for you if we have time, but I'll wait. Thank you. I guess, are you trying to, if I have a clarification, are you trying to be like Bumble? for like golfers is that the intention of it or simple. is it like here's a whole thing to it so it's it's two things so there's there's a problem there's a difference between golfers there's newer golfers and there's more experienced golfers more experienced golfers generally don't want to play with new people they want to maintain their own golf communities but there is no social hub the newer golfer wants to learn more from the experienced golfers and so and other golfers that are just as good as them and so it, it's, it's like Bumble in the sense that the newer golfers can be paired up and meet with other new golfers. And then our job is to convert them to the golf course and sell that tee time. And again, we make a profit in return. So it's a centralized golf hub and it's the feature of, the niche is the feature of uh, pairing golfers, kind of like Bumble. And Christian, I have a question for you about, um, so would this be an app that golf courses are working with or they're integrated with so that they're sharing their availability consistently exactly. with the day? Yes, so it's both uh, B2B and C2B. Um, 
B2B, because the golf courses will work with us, they'll share their point of sale systems and they can share their schedule systems as well. And so when we have a, when we collect a foursome, which is very inconvenient, having four singles for a golf course is very inconvenient. So our job is to collect those foursomes and sell that foursomes to the golf course as a whole, rather than them trying to walk in and be an inconvenience. We do the the gathering for those foursomes. So we sell them to the golf course, but we also work with the consumer by having a social media platform and uh, special features that allow them to play with other golfers. Do you envision the golf courses paying you money because you help uh, boost their utilization rate? Or do you envision that the consumers uh, are gonna pay you because you solve a problem that they want solved or both? So it's, it's both, um, both. So on the consumers, it's free to use. It's a freemium app. We don't make money until we have conversions and our conversion are, they pay us by uh, a booking fee. Um, the, the golf courses, they also pay us through subscription by promoting their businesses, by allowing them to post ads or, or just using our platform in general. And we also charge them a fee once we get a, uh, a tea time and convert. So it's, it's both. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Christian, this is Linus. Um, there, there are some existing apps right now that de definitely focus on the reservation aspect of, of golfing. Golf now is perhaps the most uh, popular of this. How do you anticipate matching up against what they're offering? Uh, given that perhaps the tougher component of this is the network of golf courses that you'll have to develop um, and the uh, sort of saturated market that they're already facing. Yeah, so scalability, that's a question of scalability. Scalability, first, we have to start small. We can't um, work with every golf course across the nation right away. So uh, as we grow, we'll scale. Um, and secondly, the problem with golf now is that they don't have a social aspect to their business. So they have, although their, their business is meant to give you the greatest price at the, the least amount or the later in the day, our business would be to gather new golfers and maintain community and relationship and maintain a social media golf hub. So although we're offering that service to meet with people, we're not, we're more concerned with the social aspect about, uh, the golf community rather than just selling tea times. And that's also great for, um, to maintain existing customers. One more question, Christian. And how do you plan to reach these new and existing golfers? What's the strategy, the marketing strategy there? So, and this also goes with financing. We would like to launch a campaign and, uh, try to crowdfund our, our business. It's really revolved around the golf community. So we're trying to um, really get the golf community excited to create a social media golf hub because it's, it's so fragmented. There's golf communities in Facebook. There's online forum, golf forums. It's, there's no social media hub for golf. So that's the problem. And what was the other part of your question? I'm sorry. Or Um, next steps as far as reaching that target market. And a lot of our next steps reaching for our target market would be just to market on social media. That's where a lot of the golf communities exist already. And they're extremely active on social media, especially this newer generation. They're all on social media. There's so much viral content going around. Uh, we would reach to, we would reach them through affiliate marketing and, uh, different types of digital marketing. 